Hello, welcome back to module 8 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3. This is unit 3 of journal settings. Sections. Many journals publish different types of content, such as articles, reviews, editorials, and more. This unit will help you create the working frames for different sections you might publish, including naming, defining policies for the section, setting word limits, and sliding section editors. In this module, I'll walk you through the process of creating a new section. To access section, we'll begin on your website and access our user dashboard. Then, on the settings area of the left-hand navigation menu, we'll select Journal. Sections is the third tab in the journal settings. On this page, you'll see the list of sections already created. Clicking on the expansion arrow beside a section name exposes the Edit and Delete buttons. You can edit the parameters of a section at any time or remove them completely if they are no longer needed. To delete it, hit the Delete button. And then Confirm. If you hit Delete by accident, you can cancel. This action opens a pop-up message. At least one section must be active. So let's cancel and create a new section. Let's do it by clicking on the Create Section button in the right corner of the box. This brings up a pop-up form. The required information is the section name and abbreviation. The title for the section we're creating is Book Reviews. The abbreviation we'll give it is BR. The section policy is a statement that describes the scope of the section and the type of submissions that are appropriate. It should include information about whether the submissions to the section are peer-reviewed, indexed, and whether there are any restrictions on who can submit work to it. It can also include guidelines for length and formatting style. Worth count allows you to set a limitation on the abstract worth length. Entering a zero indicates that there is no limit. If your journal uses review forms, they can be selected here from a drop-down menu and applied to the section. However, our journal currently does not have any review form. Review forms are created and discussed in module 10. The section options allow you to opt out of some of the OJS automatic functions. These will apply to all items published within the section. If your journal is not using peer review on this section, which would be the case for sections such as editorials or book reviews, be sure to check this box. The Identify Items box allows you to apply descriptive keywords to your section, which helps with the search engine indexing. And finally, in this last section, you can assign the section editors. Section editors will oversee this specific section and separate submissions from the section to publication. To assign an editor, just check on the box. When you're satisfied with your work, click on Save. Lastly, the order of your sections on this page will be reflected in the table of contents of your published journal. To change the order, click on the Order link. Now, you can drag and rearrange the sections as you please. When you're finished, click on Done. This concludes the third unit of Module 8. I'll see you again in the next unit. Thanks for watching.